Hello and welcome to another week of What the Fuck Do You Want? And you've probably seen the name in the credits already. It's Stig. Hello. What's cracking? Oh, so much, so much. Hence why I've come on here to have a little rant. Oh, wouldn't be like you. But before we get to that, it's tradition. We have to ask Stiggles. How is that new Mario Kart? Oh, it's never coming, is it? Even the even the new even the tracks don't really help i thought they were more they of don't. an insult than anything yeah <laughs> oh the mario kart what else has there been there's still shitty fanboys and rabid fans uh, they've not the gone reboots. away the reboots are still studio happening ghibli. studio ghibli is the good one because mm-hmm. that is actually happening we are getting a studio ghibli film this year so that is at least something fingers crossed yes and it Chris is Hayao Miyazaki. Gonna voice the main character no don't no <laughs> you just ruined it <laughs> <laughs> It's what I do. Yes. At least it is Hayao Miyazaki, so it's not mm-hmm. like it's just Studio Ghibli and some random jobber like his son. <laughs> you mean? just don't cut it, kid. No. Give up. He, d- he just doesn't. He, he, Such he, a he, toxic he, fanboy. He has not inherited any of his father's <laughs> genius whatsoever. <laughs> like, you do feel bad for some people. That's a lot to live up to. But at the same time, if you created something and you kind of looked at what your dad did and what you did... I say, fuck, I build a really shitty fence. Maybe I should just ask Dad for help in the future. Yeah, definitely. I'll just stay away. Just just, just stay away. Maybe take up accounting. Fuck off. <laughs> His dad can give him a job in the mailroom. <laughs> so, rambly, rambly bollocks. Keeping well? Yes, very, very well. Thank you very much. And you have something you want to get off your chest? Yes, I do. Okay, well, I shall frame the question. Set the mood. Stig of modern escapism. In case people didn't know. What the fuck do you want? I want more bloody time. Time has come today. Young hearts can go their way. Can't put it off another day. I don't care what others say. They think we don't listen anyway. I want more time. I need more time in general to get the shit that I want to get done, done. Oh, well, you definitely came to the right place because I've got nothing but fucking time to hand out to people. Good. But uh, I, have, I have suggestions later on on how I can achieve this. <laughs> some are realistic, some are unrealistic. Right, some well, are we'll stick to the formula. Impossible. Yeah. Stig, okay. what is time? Time. No spoilers, it, please. If you have ever listened to our podcast, is we have no concept of time. No. We can't keep track of time whatsoever. Time is a flat circle. We have no idea what time is. On However, average, your episodes last about an eighth of a day. Yeah. Do you listen is, to yourself? Yeah. This is this is. So you record one it, of the reasons, and you this, also listen to yourself. No, no, I do listen back to... Are you sure? No, I listen back to Scott Sheep because I like to listen back and... It's the better podcast, I agree. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I like to listen back and, and remember what we've done and where we're at, so I, I've got a good frame of reference. You know, <laughs> like, the last time that we recorded the campaign was eight weeks ago, and we had to do a couple of one-shots in between. Um, so it's a nice refresher. So I do listen back to that. I have got mm-hmm. used to my own voice now, which is... I know well, it's at least hard in, in scorch shape, it's Stigveld. It's not you. Yeah. Well, some of it's me, but yeah, it's <laughs> just me putting on a deep voice. <laughs> Are you the bear tosser, really? Yes. I like to toss bears. But yeah, the, I mean, the length of our podcast is one of the reasons for this. It's mm-hmm. a contentious issue. Uh, as someone who, as part of a co- podcast, who has been taking up a lot of time recently, they are too long. We we have addressed this. We are trying to work on it and we are looking at... Because you have been getting some horrible comments on Twitter. Some of them are me. Yeah, mostly most, mostly you. <laughs> I have a few accounts. Yeah, all the all the burner accounts. <laughs> But we, yeah, we are addressing that. We, we, we'll, that'll come in the next month or so. We're, we're going to announce some things. But in general, I have too much on mm-hmm. and there's not enough time in the day to do it. And I look, this kind of was born from our episode we did a few weeks ago, which was about our backlog. Mm-hmm. And 
talking about the backlog, it just realised how much stuff I've got that I want to actually do, but don't have enough time for. And I know you've had episodes where I think it was Kieran on who said to end things, and Planty came on and said he wanted to end good TV, but I don't want to end stuff. I don't think... Oh, we had if Rob it, Jack who wanted immortality so he could tackle his backlog. Yeah, if if you have good stuff, mm-hmm. keep it coming. I will get to it. If it's, if it's worthwhile, I'll get to it. Yeah. But the issue is right now i obviously work five days a week mm-hmm. um that includes you know you've got your traveling getting there you're traveling back go to the gym i am currently on the first year of a four-year part-time course yeah um college course so i have to do that as well as revise so and all of this uh, and then obviously outside of that, you've got your, you come home, I look after the kids, got to, my wife's doing a late shift, I'm cooking dinner, I'm sorting the pets, trying to get myself sorted, trying to get them to bed. Mm-hmm. Uh, and all of that leaves me with about three hours of the day to do something for myself. And it is that old cliche when you finally get a bit of free time to yourself, you're not fit for fucking anything. You just no. want to kind of switch off momentarily. Yeah, I'm too tired. Or because I can't be asked to find something. And, I, and I'm my own worst enemy here for procrastinating. <laughs> I'll, I'll lie on the sofa, I'll sit on the sofa, and I'll like, right, what should I watch something? No, I can't be asked. Should I play something? No. And I'll just scroll on my phone for an hour, waste an hour. And it's like. But it's even sometimes you get people, I actually have to schedule what I'm going to watch or read or view play next because that decision making also takes time. Yes. I actually, it's. A good point you made there, because I actually made myself... It's always a good point I make. I'm an (laughs) incredibly intelligent person. (laughs) Um, I made a schedule, Mm -hmm. because mainly because my college course was like, right, I need to set times, sit down for these hours on these days, read this book, make notes, do this, do that. Especially when you're doing the course, you need to get that out of the way first. Yes. And then whatever's left is like, you time exactly and this course that i'm doing it's all exam based so there's no coursework if, if i had coursework it'd be amazing because i'm good mm-hmm. at coursework but it's all exams so it's all stuff i have to read return and take in yeah and i don't really want to use my free time to do that but i have to do it because it's for the benefit of me work paying for it so i kind of have to do it as well yeah. and i so i made this schedule and i never stuck to it once <laughs> i haven't ever good stuck intentions. to it once yeah um, because I just found myself not managing my time better. Mm. And I just, yeah, I, I kind of need more. I just need more time. I need more time. <laughs> I'm, I just, I can't stress enough how much I need because you, it's not just the doing stuff for yourself. You get to the weekend and it's like, right, now I've got two whole days free. What can I do? Mm-hmm. So I get my gym time in in the mornings, which is good. And then I need to do stuff around the house. Currently, we're redecorating my daughter's bedroom. After that, I've looked around. Okay, I've got more decorating to do. There's little bits here and there to do. Mm-hmm. There's stuff in the garden that needs doing. The garden fence needs painting. There's a lot of stuff. The One of the walls needs repainting and touching up <laughs> outside. Um, and just all these little tiny bits. But without sacrificing the free time that I have with the kids, mm-hmm. I need to make sure that I spend time with them and don't just sack them off and don't just... Well, especially... I'm sure they're rapidly approaching that age where they don't want anything to do with their parents. So you need to make the most of that. Yeah, there will, there will be. My eldest will be at some point. She's mm-hmm. 10 this year. So it will be getting to that well, point. In two point. years time, she's going to start drinking in forests. So, you know, that's... Exactly. Smoking, drinking. Fighting. Fucking up. Yep, 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 yep. But they, when they, they want to do stuff. They want to go swimming. They want to go... Some, I mean, my eldest likes to go on bike rides with me when I, when yeah. you know the elder, youngest can be looked after. And I don't. We go to the cinema a lot together. I don't want to just sack them off because I've got stuff to do at home. So no, if you're gonna cut out corners to save a bit of time somewhere, that's not where you're gonna do it. Yeah, I mean, it's the same with like entertainment wise. I don't during the day. I don't really do much other than I'll watch football if it's on, if it's mm-hmm. a game I want to watch. But I don't just kind of sack them off to go and play a game or read or watch a film or anything like that I, i'll try to use my time wisely with them and then i'll do that later mm-hmm. but again we get to the point where even on a weekend by the time they've gone to bed because it's a weekend they're like oh can we stay up later we want to stay up later <laughs> and you kind of give in a little bit because it's easy to do that by the time they're in bed you've left yourself with only three hours again mm-hmm. on a weekend and you're tired because of all the other shit you did all day 
<laughs> and you think, well, it's a weekend. I'll stay up till two o'clock in the morning. But that's not a good idea because no, kids like to wake up early. You the next day. Yeah, exactly. So I, I kind of look at my what I have going on and things like my watch list. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at my letterbox here. I have 759 films on that list. And how much time would that be on an estimate? A long time. I mean, if I did a film a day, you're getting on two years there. Mm. So a film a day is two years worth of films there. And I know some of these films are shit and I'll probably will never get around to watching them. But this is a lot of ones in there that I really do want to watch. And Not I even pla- shit movies sometimes have that bad charm to them. You still want to see it. Yes. And also I have a weird completionist thing in me where I'll I'll add films that I really shouldn't bother watching. <laughs> but because I've watched the first few, I'll watch the rest. Does, not with everything. There are limits. I refuse to watch Die Hard 5 and I refuse to watch any more Transformers films. Like, they're, they're done and dusted. <laughs> I'm not giving them any more of my time. You never know. One could really tie it all together. No. 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 <laughs> Such a snob. Uh, but it's the same with games. I have I have an Xbox, a PlayStation, a Switch, a Steam Deck, and a PC. I have everything I need, mm-hmm. and yet I don't utilize it because I just don't have the time. I have all and these that's games. Just one medium. Yeah, I have all these games come that are out that I want to play, and I've done that stupid thing where you know what, you know what, you'll know this. I've always said this that I stick to one game at a time, mm-hmm. and I haven't done that <laughs> because there's too much coming out, and I'm trying to cram it all in where I can. And now one of the biggest open world games of the year has just come out and I've started that and pushed (laughs) Hogwarts Legacy back and Resident Evil 4 back and Hi-Fi Rush back and everything else because I'm trying to cram it into the little bit of time that I have. Yeah, you never catch up with that game. Because I thought it was doing well. For a while, I wouldn't buy a new game until I had completed the previous one, Mm. which was great because by the time you got round to the games you wanted to play, they were like half price and fixed, especially this year. But... With Game Pass, subscription services, things like that. There's just so much to get through now. Game Pass is amazing, but also it it creates a big problem. Mm. Because when an awesome little indie titles come out on it that you probably wouldn't even looked at unless there was a good word of mouth. Yeah. They're there in front of you. It's like, I have, there's ones that you've played and recommended. I want to play Citizen Sleeper. I want to play Pentiment. I want, there's some other ones on there. But I need to make sure I finish Hi-Fi Rush first because I want to do that one game then move on to the next one but I don't have the time (laughs) you'll see uh, Chicory's getting added soon I don't think I've it was on the PS5 I wasn't going to pay for the fucking thing it looked like Game Pass fodder even then that is always a good thing if it looks like Game Pass fodder you can wait (laughs) but yeah it's it's that and and reading is just another another problem I have because Mm -hmm. I like all these things. I wish I was one of these people who didn't like films, but only like games. Mm-hmm. So I could just play games. But I do like, I like, I love films. I love games. I love TV. I love reading. And I want to, I've got all those different mediums to try and fit in mm-hmm. around normal life, work, <laughs> revision, kids, dogs, gym. And I'm someone, when it, so when it comes to reading, I've just recently bought a kin, another Kindle. Mm-hmm. it's chock full of I've always, I've always had quite a big kindle library it's chock full of books i've made an effort to try and read more because mm-hmm. you but were I, quite a fan of audiobooks yes memory so recalls, yeah. i do i do listen to audiobooks as well like sometimes it's just easier because I, I, I i'm quite good at being able to listen to stuff while i work like mm-hmm. it doesn't distract me i can kind of take do both things at once so i have been like the last few years been doing some books and audiobooks but i do like reading i still enjoy sitting down and reading yeah, but I read slow, and when you want more time, reading slow isn't really <laughs> a good thing. I I try to read faster. I've tried to learn how to speed read. I can't do it. I I, I end up reading a book. Speed reading's like, kind of like that binge watching shows if you're not absorbing it, and everybody's got a different rate of reading. It's it's not a fucking competition. But if you're going at a pace too brisk or even too slow, reading's one of those things you just have to do at your own pace. Yes. Or you're not going to get the full experience out of it. I I have found that I've just kind of have to accept that now. Mm-hmm. I kind of read a lot of books like I talk. So if I'm reading a book out to my daughter, that's probably the speed. I'd, I might speed be a bit faster, mm-hmm. but it ain't much different. So it takes me a lot longer to get through a book than it would like 
you know, my wife, when we went on holiday, she read all Hunger Games books in like a few days. I was on like the same book all holiday and still didn't finish it. <laughs> and that Again, book was not a competition, like th- but I know you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I wish I could read that fast and mm-hmm. take it in. Like she can take read fast and take it in. I, I know people who read fast and then they never take stuff in. Like I used to have a colleague who... You would bring up points about certain books and you get that kind of glazed look and say, Mm -hmm. oh, you just skimmed through that book. Yeah. yeah. I had a colleague who took away... um, It's called uh, the King King Killer Chronicles. (laughs) Future episode. (laughs) Massive, meaty books. I mean, tell me about it. I've been waiting for the third book for God knows how long now. It was when the first book got its 10th anniversary and that's quite a few years ago now. I say... You motherfucker. Yeah. These guys have got too much time and they're not giving us <laughs> what they want, giving us what we want. Um but yeah, that, that book's massive. Mm-hmm. And he read both of them when he was away on holiday. And then I audiobooked them and I wanted to talk to him about it and he's like, oh, I don't really remember much of it. I'm like And that and is why a book series for anybody that's not familiar with it. There are fan groups that discuss sentences yeah. and the multiple meanings and definitions they took away from certain phrases yeah it rewards you for paying attention it is it's really good i mean there are there's a section in the second book which it goes on a bit too long but <laughs> and we're not here to talk about that uh it is a really good book but anyway the point i was getting at is that, that fucker because yes, i continue because <laughs> i read slow it takes up my time mm-hmm. a lot more and you know with some tv shows and films you can kind of do two things at once yeah you can't do that with with reading so I, I plan to try and say I'll, I'll read for an hour and a night. I don't really get far in the book. Mm-hmm. But again, it's just adding, it's more and more stuff adding on top of but it. But if you're doing that, I'm sure at the end of it going, well, I just wasted an hour when I could have done this and I could have done that. And there's a certain element of frustration towards it. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm trying to, like I said earlier, I'm trying to not do the procrastinating and just flicking through mm-hmm. TikTok or YouTube on my phone on a night. It's like, right, okay, I've got an hour. I'm going to read. Or, but those things are expertly designed just to get you scrolling. They are, and it's annoying, but it's taking up the one commodity that I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, ban TikTok, right? So I'll add that to the list. I, I did actually delete it off my phone for a while because it was getting too much, mm-hmm. but I might do it again. I think I got banned off TikTok anyway, so I can't... I, I can't <laughs> only... Racism again, was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it was it was over the stu- most stupidest of things. My daughter posted a uh, transition when we're on holiday mm-hmm. and because she was in a bikini they classed it as like child pornography <laughs> that's what the, the, the notice said and i was like <sighs> so and that's they, the excuse you're sticking with is it yeah that's what they get that's they banned me for that um and she's just there in a bikini in the pool so filth never mind i tried to do you know what the funny thing is about that is i actually tried to get it unbanned and they said send a your photo id and a picture and hold up this code in the photo Mm-hmm. So I did that, and they sent me a, a message back saying, the photo doesn't look like you. So my, my photo ID doesn't look like me, apparently. So, they, so I'm just banned. Well, they are black and white on licenses now. Uh, no, it was just it was my passport, but I covered all my information up. I just left my date of birth and my name and a picture, <laughs> and they just said, your picture doesn't look like you. I was like, well, the only difference is literally my hairstyle. But yeah, it's a weird one. Uh, sorry, I'm digressing a lot here. Little bit. Time. I- it's like it's like being on my podcast where we just <laughs> talk shit. No, we're far too high caliber for that sort of bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Well, that you know, I am again. Podcasting is another thing. Mm-hmm. So every Sunday we podcast. Every other week we do Scott Sheep, and then we do our monthly podcast for the for the Patreon, and we do any specials we do, and then I've got to edit them as well. Yeah, that's all. And you've extra got the time. socials as well under your belt, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so I look after the socials, like what socials we do do. I, I kind of look after that and I maintain the website and everything like that. So it's all those little things as well. Like You can't do really do other stuff while you're editing because you've got to pay attention. I mean, mm-hmm. it's not as bad for a smaller podcast like yourself. You can probably edit it quite quick if there's not much there to edit out. Believe it or not, the half hour thing kind of kills me in well, that yeah, aspect. That's just, that's just you being anal about making sure every episode's half an hour. But... There's one, it will be out by the time this comes out, and I had to compress about 40 minutes of audio into 30 minutes. And I said, why am I doing this? Yeah. I'm terrible because I go through and I'm like, every cough, every like lip smack, every noise, I I edit it all out. I'm really 
pernickety about it. So that, again, is just taking up more time <laughs> to do something that really actually I don't really need to do. It's just that, that's my kind of... Yeah, that's your process for it. That's you my could process. Just, there is an option in Audacity to take out silences. You can do that. Stick an intro song, outro song, off it goes. But yeah. we're professionals. We are professionals and we want to give the uh, the best, especially for anyone that's paying. So... <laughs> Who the um, fuck would pay for a podcast? They're free. <laughs> Yo, don't don't like don't act like you aren't our first and biggest supporter. I'm all biggie all the time. Yeah, aren't we all? Um, but I am watching the timer here, so I don't want to. Uh, I want to make sure that it is an easy episode for you to edit here. But yeah, I I guess at the end of the day, I have three ways of achieving more time. Oh, this is that's literal life hacks. What have we yeah. got? So we have two things that are literally impossible. Okay, but this is off this to is, a good start. But this is what the fuck do we want and what the fuck do you want? And we can make sh- shit up, you know. Some people yes, want immortality. Yes, we certainly can. I do all the time. To talk to animals. So what I want is for somehow the world to slow down and give us an extra eight hours a day. <laughs> and by that, I don't mean shitty corporations and companies making sure that we work longer. We do our eight hours, we have our traveling time, we have the kids to sleep, and then we have a good six, seven hours free on an evening before we go to bed and get our eight hours sleep, where we have all that free time. So I don't know how this is possible. An extended night time. Yeah, I, <laughs> but but not one that makes you tired. So we have a gap some, somewhere between six and 12 o'clock We've extended that another six hours. Don't We've that somehow slowed the road here? Yeah. just for yeah. I just want the world to go slower. Yeah, to rotate slower and give us extra hours in the day and give me all the time in the world. That's that's option one. Option two is somebody invent an inception machine so I can go inside the machine and do things in the machine so I can watch my stuff, read my stuff, play my stuff in the machine. And when I come back out, I've only used an hour of real time, but in the <laughs> machine, I've I've done six hours worth of stuff. That you're going to be able to do all these activities you want to do, but in your dreams, because all that sleeping time is wasted. Yes, exactly. But with Inception, you actually can do the things. It, it's not like dreams, which all of a sudden get taken over by a talking T Rex or something, which did happen in one of my dreams once. <laughs> Sounds like a sexy dream. <laughs> yeah. No, it was just T Rex talking outside Tesco's. <laughs> I can't fucking fit in. <laughs> Um, the, the the most realistic one, which isn't realistic, is that I win the lottery and I win a shitload of money and I don't have to worry about work or Did anything. You stop and I have, ripping off other people's ideas. Yeah, yeah. I, I, or I have all the time in the world. <laughs> Unfortunately, the man who runs our, uh, what they're called, the lottery syndicate, mm-hmm. he's just fucking off with our money. I think it's a, a hoax, to be honest. I, don't, I think he's it scamming is, us. He, he drinks a lot of very top shelf spirits. Yeah. And holidays a bit too often for my liking. Exactly, and when we do win, we only somehow we oh we just we we only win two three pounds here and there or tenner here and there. It's never the big one. So, I shall get another extra couple of lines, will I? Mm. Mm. One yeah. day it's just gonna fuck off out of the Discord, and all of our money's just gone. <laughs> 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 but yeah, win the lottery, and then I don't have to worry about work. Uh, so I can, as someone else has asked before, early retirement, I can just spend all my time doing all the things that I want to do. I didn't even mention the fact I, I like being out in the garden. So that's mm. gardening. And I like, I'm growing, I grow my own vegetables. So do my own veg plots and all that. That takes more time. Yeah, that it's, does. It, it's just never ending. There's so much stuff that I like to do. And I wish I, I wish I didn't. <laughs> I wish I just didn't like things. And then... like if you were just a slob, <laughs> think of yeah. all the free time you'd have. Exactly. If I just came home, sat on my phone, ate a takeaway and then went to bed and was happy with that, but I'm not. <laughs> I like to consume media, and I want to consume it all at some point, and I just don't have the time to do it. This so I've come on your like show a bit to of ask, a rabbit hole, but to ask, yeah. Do you think lockdown affected how we consume our media? Um, because maybe. Because that was a lot of free time. We got through a lot of things. Oh, well, it won't for me, oh, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I it was pretty much the same. I worked every day, and then I came out and then spent time with the kids like the only free time i had was i wasn't going anywhere on a weekend so mm. i didn't really get that whole like free time binge stuff in the uh, pandemic I definitely did outside of work 
And uh, I have the Animal Crossing Island to prove it. <laughs> Immaculate. Yeah, but they don't like you anymore. They really don't. Fucking dicks. You don't talk to somebody for a year and they think you're a cunt. I know. Um, but yeah, the problem I had was obviously with the kids. It's They did the schoolwork and then they wanted to do some of it as soon as I'd finished. And mm-hmm. actually what I found was because I was helping them with schoolwork and helping look after them, even though I was working from home, it meant that I wasn't finishing until six at seven o'clock at night. Yeah. So I was just eating more into my free time. So yeah, unfortunately I didn't really get that. I don't like to say a benefit because I want really any benefits of the pandemic, but <laughs> I never really got that binge part of it down. I'm getting nostalgic about a global pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, just I need time. So if someone can just invent an inception machine or slow the earth down or give me some lots and lots of money. Just quit the podcast. Yeah. Three hours yeah. there. Bang. Yeah, to slow the podcast. But yeah. It'll come. We're working on it. Anything longer than half an hour is a wank. Yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> if, we, if we did that, then it'd just be Piggy's News, and then that would be done. <laughs> it's an option. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Just modern escapes and presents Piggy's Breaking News. That's it. Every week. Weekly catch-up. Speaking of, do you want to give the socials? Yeah, uh, if you um, head over to modernescapism.co.uk, on there you'll see all of our links to all of the things we do for the main podcast, Two Dragons Dream of Scott Sheep, which is our D&D player podcast, uh, Deep Dive Lounge and Smash That Glass, uh, which is Candy's uh, ladies-only podcast. Um, but everything's on there, links to all the, the show and everything we do, including the Patreon. Stand up to our Patreon, you bastards. That's what I want. I want people to sign up to our Patreon. <laughs> Give me your money. <laughs> yeah. Time is money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because movies let us down far too often. Yeah, they do. That's the other thing as well. Like, when you watch something shit and you're like, oh, I just wasted my time on that. I could have watched something good. Yeah, that's why I don't get on with TV full stop. I think, Ugh. <laughs> just looking over at the Zelda switch. <laughs> also, I have, I have a wife who likes to watch really shit horror films. <laughs> and you ha- you know you have to spend time with a wife so well you don't have to you know, divorce that's another option you get a lot of free time with that yeah I could do that just leave it with the kids just me and the she dogs turn the wee ones against you you'd have so much free time oh yeah that's the fourth option I'll think <laughs> about that one <laughs> let that one percolate yeah so any closing thoughts on the matter before we slam the door on this episode no, uh, just thank you for letting me come on and rant about my life and how I don't have the time to do the things that I enjoy because real shit gets in the way. Oh, we are nothing if not a venting place for first world problems. Don't you worry. Mm-hmm. And you're coming back for the Doors of Stone episode soon, I'm sure. Is that what the third book's meant to be called? Yeah, it's meant to be. Remember that first chapter we were going to get? <laughs> like two years ago? I'm still waiting on... Song of Ice and Fire. I'm still waiting on Gentle Bastards next book. Like all of these books have been, it's been like nearly ten years since the last one now. Cons. Yeah. Fantasy authors never there when you need them. No. Bastards. That's why none of them are superheroes. Unless you're Brandon Sanderson, he knocks them out every five minutes. Jesus Christ! Yeah, he's a king on speed. <laughs> yeah. Tangent. Right. That time again. I'm done. Yeah, I'm not going to waste anyone else's time, <laughs> including my own. Well, Stig been an absolute delight as always you little peach but until next time get fucked clocks and spoons empty room it's raining out tonight what a way to end the day but turn it out Shoot the moon right between the eyes I'm sending most of me to sunny countryside
sign.